Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have Harry Potter merch. Now, I went to the Wizarding World in Universal Studios Orlando this past week, and actually, we just got back home yesterday, and I brought back a ton of things. Now, I had this trip planned from September, so I already knew that I was going to be buying a bunch of things that I knew I wanted, and I think I did a pretty good job at finding all of them. So if you're interested in seeing everything that I brought back from Universal, from the Wizarding World, then keep on watching. So this first item is something that my husband actually picked out. Now, he is a very big Dobby fan. He, that is like his favorite character from the movies. And he chose this Dobby little figurine from the Noble Collections Magical Creatures. So this one retailed for $36.95. And I know this one you can get directly on the Noble Collections website, but the price difference is only like a dollar or something. It's like $35 on the noble collection website so it didn't really make a much of a difference of picking it up in person so this is something he brought for himself and there we have dobby and his little sock this will be going up on my shelves because <laughs> my husband doesn't have like his own like harry potter collection or anything like that so it will live on my shelves so this is one of the things he chose and then in this bag we have Okay, these are some of the things that I chose for myself. Now, I have here oh, the Butterbeer souvenir cup that you get when you buy Butterbeer in this specific cup. So I think Butterbeer is like $8 if you buy it in a regular cup. But if you want the souvenir cup, it's kind of like $13 something or $14 roundabout. And I got Butterbeer on one of the occasions in this cup. Now, you don't get any benefits of having this cup for Butterbeer. So if you want to buy like more Butterbeer, you still have to pay the $8. They will put it in this cup for you, but you have to pay the regular price. I have heard, though, that if you have this cup, you can get refills like of lemonade and maybe tea or something like that for a dollar but we didn't try it out because we had like another one of the universal refill cups that we were using but this one i brought with me as a little souvenir of butter beer and this one i got at the weasley's wizards and wheezes store in the Diagon Alley section of the Wizarding World, and this one was $25. So this was one of the items that was on my list to pick up if I saw it, because, I mean, it's so cute. It reminds me of the movies, and it does work. I mean, I'm not going to be taking it out of the box, but it does have like a little headset here, and it shows you on the back how to install it if you want to use it, but I won't be using it. This will just be on my shelves for decoration. But I got this one at the Weasley's store. And these I got at our hotel gift shop. These are the tickets to the platform nine and three quarters. So you get, I brought two because one of them is a gift for someone else. But this one retailed for $10.95. And you actually get two tickets. So you get your ticket from Hogwarts to London and from London to Hogwarts. So this for me is like a really, really nice little souvenir for yourself or for someone who you know is a Harry Potter fan. I think this is so magical to have your own uh, Hogwarts Express ticket. So I love that and I got that at the gift shop at the hotel. And these two I also got at the hotel, but I did see these all over the place at the parks. This is a little journal, like notebook, and I got one with the cover of the Tales of Beetle the Bard because I actually have the book with the story back there in the Hogwarts library set that you can get at Target, but the cover is more modern and different. And I wanted to have this one just so that it looks nice on my shelves. It's more true to the movies. And I also got this one, which is a replica of the advanced potion making book from the movies. 
Again, this is another one that is going to look so nice on my shelves. And these are just like regular notebooks that you can write in, but I won't be using them for that. But this is also something that if you have a Harry Potter fan in your family or your friends and you want to give them a little souvenir, this is awesome. This one was also 25 and the one from Beetle the Bart was also 25. So we are very, very big coffee drinkers in my house. So I thought a nice little souvenir would be for each of us to buy a mug so that when we do have our coffee together, we can think about our trip and remember the great times we had. So my husband chose this Dobby mug and it says Dobby is free on this side. And then on the other side, it says free the house elves. And it's really nice because it is a shiny black on the inside, but the outside is nice and matte. Now this cup, let me tell you the funny story about this specific mug. So my husband saw this mug like towards the beginning of our trip, but because we wanted to do a lot of rides and in Universal, if you have like a bunch of stuff that you're carrying around, you have to leave it in lockers for some of the rides. We didn't want to go crazy buying things to then have to carry it around and put it in lockers or anything like that. So we kind of made the plan that the first days that we were going to be there were more to like do the rides and eat food and enjoy. And then on the last day that we were going to be there, we would then buy the things that we wanted to buy and then we would just go you know, back to the hotel. So my husband saw this mug towards the first days of our trip. And of course, he didn't buy it, but he had it like in the back of his mind. And on the last day of our trip, we went back to the store that had it, which was on the Diagon Alley side of the park, which is in the Universal Studios Park. And when we went to the store that had it, they no longer had it anymore. So they were out of stock. But the person at the counter was so, so helpful and he looked it up for us and he told us that they had it at the gift shop that was under the Hogwarts castle, which was on the other side in Island of Adventures. So it was almost like it was like 30 minutes to close for the park. So here we are like running towards the Hogwarts Express so that we can get on and we can make it to the other side of the park. And then we had to like run to the gift shop. And my husband was like, wait, I have to go to the bathroom. And then he went to the bathroom and I kept running to the gift shop so that we can find this cup. And we got there and they had a few left and we got it. So this cup made me have to run through the park and I don't do a lot of running. So yeah. <laughs> So this cup is the one my husband chose. And then I got this Honey Dukes mug for myself. I got this one in Hogsmeade at the Honey Dukes store. And it's so cute. It's so big. I love it. Now, each one of these mugs was $21. I suppose that's just the price for all the mugs because all the ones I got was the same price. But it's nice and green in the inside. And it's so cute i love it so much and then my son chose this one for himself this is a ravenclaw mug and he is very very proud to be a ravenclaw it says wisdom learning and wit on this side and then on the front it says learning wisdom and wit and it has like a quill and a wand and the diadem of ravenclaw so this is the one he chose and it's so nice. I love these. It's going to be so special when we have our coffee and we can think about our trip to Universal. I know Christmas just passed and I won't be able to use this till next year, but I did want to bring back a Christmas ornament to have on our tree next year so we can remember our trip to Universal. And it's a little Hogwarts Express uh, Christmas ornament. And it's so cute. This was one. This one was eighteen ninety five. Now their Christmas ornaments can get a little bit expensive. Like I saw some were like twenty five and even thirty dollars. So this one is more on the lower end of the price range, but it's still so so cute, and I love it. So that will be going on our Christmas tree next year. I might put it on my shelves in the meantime, but for sure it'll be on our Christmas tree. And then we also got some pins. Now we like to collect pins. We have a bunch from the trips we've done to Disney. But here we got this Hufflepuff 
pin and we got this one for my sister-in-law she is a hufflepuff we actually did the test with her uh while we were on the bus one day and it was funny because we were telling her you are a hufflepuff you are a hufflepuff no doubt about it and she's like how do you know and we're like we just know we just know and she did the test and yes she did get hufflepuff so it says patience dedication loyalty hufflepuff and we got this for her because although she was there with us through the trip she did leave a little bit earlier than we did and we had her take the test the day like the night before she was leaving so she didn't really have a chance to buy any hufflepuff merch for herself and we thought it would be special to get her uh, a little pin because she loves collecting pins every single store we went to she would always buy a pin and then we got this gryffindor one also for my son's godmother she is a gryffindor and we got this one for her as a little souvenir alongside the Hogwarts Express ticket. We'll be mailing that to her uh, to Puerto Rico. And then for ourselves, we got this Hogwarts Crest one that has all four houses and it has a little bit of color enamel on them. Okay, so here we have this Ravenclaw one that we brought for ourselves because all three of us in this house are Ravenclaw. Now this one I like, I will say I like, but I hate that they use the Raven. I wish they used the Eagle, but we already know that is a lost battle with Universal Studios and the movies and whatnot. But the Ravenclaw one was 12. Don't mind my nails, they're terrible. The Hogwarts uh, Crest one was 12 as well. And the Hufflepuff one was 10. And the Gryffindor one was 12. Here, okay, this is another thing that my husband chose for himself. But will eventually live on my shelves. And this is a Hogwarts Crest. And they have these for each one of the houses. And then they have the Hogwarts one. This is also from Noble Collection. Now, in Noble Collection, you can get the set that has all five for 200 I think we paid like 60 something for this one. I don't think it has the price. But this is what it looks like out of the box. And it's really, really nice. I love like the antique bronze look to it. And I love that they did the eagle for Ravenclaw instead of doing the raven. So that's awesome. And then also in that bag, I have this print. And this is like a print of the Quibbler magazine cover. And you have like the spectro specs here that you can, I guess you can take them off. They look like they're like stuck on there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get like a nice little frame for this and put it up on my wall. And this one was $6.95, so not bad at all, I think, for this size of a print. And I loved it so much, so I went and got it on the last day, and then I had to pack it very, very carefully because I didn't want it to get all wrinkled in our suitcase. So I got myself this wallet. It has like Diagon Alley on it, and this is from lounge fly and this one was 55 dollars i saw this one and i saw honey dukes one and i almost bought both of them because the other one was so so pretty but i had to hold back and say you know you already got a wallet you don't need two wallets but i was this close to get it and it has like a little area for you to put your license and your credit cards but i went with this one because it was a little smaller so it's easier to put in like my uh like my smaller bags but it has a picture of Diagon Alley and there you have Green Goss and you have the Weasley's Wizard and Wheezes and the school bookstore so I have that really nice I love it I'm gonna start using it I have needed a wallet for months now and I haven't bought one because I was always saying I know when I get there I'm gonna see a wallet that I like I know when I get there, I'm going to see a wallet that I like. And then I was going to be like, oh, why did I buy this wallet over there when I could have bought this wallet here? So I was holding back on buying a wallet. So now I have a wallet. I can throw away my old wallet that looks terrible. And then I got these bags here. 
So this one is a chocolate frog bag. And this one, I don't think it's from Loungefly. This seems to be something made directly from Universal, like by Universal for Universal. And this one was 70. And it has here the little chocolate frog, uh, kind of like a keychain type of thing, like a little dangly thing here. And it is a crossbody bag, so you do get your strap. And the inside, I think I filled it up with like receipts and stuff. Um, I sure did. Let me take all these out of here. So, in the inside, it's pretty big. You can fit like a decent amount of things in here. Not that you would be like using this as your, as your everyday bag. I won't be using these. I bought these more to have them on my shelves as collect like collectibles. Um... But I love this one. This one I got at Honey Dukes at the Hogsmeade area of the park. So I love it. And then let me put it over here. And then this one. This bag is my favorite bag. This is the bag that I knew I wanted to get from the moment I scheduled the trip. I wanted this bag. I've wanted this bag for a very long time. And now I finally have it. I kind of want to use it, but at the same time, I don't want to use it because I don't want it get to get ruined. But this bag is beautiful. Oh my God, I love it so, so, so much. So this is the Howler bag. And on the back, it says Ronald Weasley Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry because this is meant to be the Howler that Molly sends Ron after he steals the car and again this one doesn't seem to be from Loungefly. it seems to be just like uh harry potter it does i don't think it you know it is long lies it says it right there so it is from Loungefly, and this one was 79 so 80 dollars almost and then when you open it here you have your strap in case you want to use it as a crossbody bag and then here is where it is even more amazing. You have the message of the howler. So this is just beautiful. I love it so, so, so much. Again, I kind of want to use it. And at the same time, I don't want it to get ruined. It's so nice. But this was like the main thing that I was looking for. And in the beginning, in the gift shops that I was going to, I wasn't seeing it anywhere. And I was so sad. I was like, oh my God, if they don't have it. But then we went into a couple other gift shops and they had it. And I was like, yes, they have it. And then I think last but not least, I have this bag here. Now this we did not buy at Universal. This actually we got yesterday at the same store that I got the 18 inch Harry Potter. We went to dinner once we got back because we were starving, like our flight got delayed with this whole issue of the FFFAA or whatever it's called. And it was so funny because we were set to depart from Orlando at 10.15 a.m. And we were set to start boarding our flight at 9.45. And my husband was like, I don't think we're going to board at 9.45. And he was like looking at the news. And I guess there was something about the FAA getting hacked or whatever it was that they were saying. But the long story short is that our flight got delayed and we didn't end up um, leaving till 1.15. And like 15 minutes before we boarded, they said like, the plane is here and we have like the like the airline crew, like the, um, the stewardess and, and all that, but we don't have a pilot. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, First, the whole thing with the FAA, and now we don't have a pilot. And we didn't have a first lieutenant, because there has to be like a, a pilot and then like an officer, a first lieutenant, who flies with the pilot and like his co pilot. So we didn't have either of them. And I was like, oh my God, you have to be killing, like, you have to be kidding. These people did not just say this. And then out of the blue, this guy that was like sitting at the waiting area, I guess he was going to be a passenger on the flight that we were in. Um, I guess he was an American Airlines uh, pilot and he just like stepped up to the counter and he was like, 
I know that I look like any other Joe here, but I'm actually a pilot with American Airlines and I just got the green light to fly the plane and everybody was like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this random guy flew our plane. No, well, not the random guy. He is a pilot, but like still, you know, he flew the plane. I guess this other guy that was there too was like capable of being the first lieutenant because some other random person from there went into the cockpit to be the first lieutenant for the flight and so that's how we got back to dallas but anyways it was so crazy we were we were supposed to be here like around three o'clock in the afternoon it ended up being like around uh six by the time we got back home so we stopped by to eat some pizza and right across the pizza place where we went is the texas monkey business store and long story short we went inside and we were just going to look i told my husband i'm not gonna buy anything else i already bought so many things um but he was like no you know let's, let's just take a look but taking a look ended up in a purchase so i went in there and i found this funko pop of harry and his cart and i had told myself that i wasn't going to buy anything else but this specific pop is so cute and i had already seen online and it's not one that you find often so i was like you know something might as well just get it and just forget about it so here it is it's little harry with hedwig and it's his first time going to hogwarts he has his little suitcase and his packages his books his ticket to the platform and his broken glasses so there he is he will be going into my Funko collection as well so I think that's everything that I brought I don't see any other bags except the candy bag which I like I said I'll be making a separate video for that so look out for that one. That'll be fun to do with my son. He's really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I bought at Universal Studios. So it was a lot, but it was so, so, so much fun. Um, if you haven't been there and you're planning to and you're iffy and you don't know if you want to go, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you have to go. It is so nice and magical. We had such a good time. We drank so much butter beer. For me personally, I think frozen is the best. Although I didn't try the warm, we did try the cold. I prefer the frozen. And we ate at the three broomsticks. That was super fun as well. And everyone was just really nice. The rides were so, so good. Um, we did the escape from Gringotts first. And that one was really, really good. I liked it a ton. And we did the... Um, flight of the hippogriff ride that one for me was kind of like eh, it was okay it was very very short so i didn't think it was worth like the long line to wait for it um we did the one at the hogwarts castle the forbidden uh journey one and that one was amazing like to date um uh, my favorite ride up to this moment had been the avatar ride in disney and this one just blew it out of the park like this ride was so 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 good and it's crazy because it hardly ever has a really like high wait time most of the time it was like 20 minutes or 30 minutes to get on which isn't bad uh considering that Hagrid's ride was always like at over 100 minutes but that one was awesome and then finally we did the Hagrid's motorbike ride and it was so so much fun we did it I think like three different times and each time it was great if you can do it at night it's even better um but that one the wait times for that one are always always crazy but let me tell you if you have if you're there don't think about it just get in the line the queue is super cool like there's so much to see and at the end of the day the ride is so worth the time you're waiting it was so so much fun uh, but yeah, overall, this is my haul of things that I brought back. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this all on my shelves so that I can enjoy them and go make some coffee so that I can drink it out of my new Honey Dukes mug. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Harry Potter content. Um, I will be working on some more uh, movie and book related videos soon. So some more like Harry Potter theory videos. 
uh, now that I am back and I'm just looking forward to this new year and all the new content. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who subscribed up to now. I really appreciate it. Uh, but again, if you enjoy Harry Potter and you just want to join a community of people who like Harry Potter and who are just happy to share their love for the franchise, then go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.